Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of rubber stamp effect in any text uh, using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. Good, before we start, we need to create a new document. For that, we go to our menu, File, New. I'm going to use my one, uh, 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi, but if you want to use something uh, different, the dimension is fine. The only thing is remember that uh, untick the transparent background and you leave the rest as it is and you click OK. Perfect, now that we are there, uh, before we continue, let's go to, to the top, let's go to view and make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar good with that out of the way let's get started okay the first thing is we need to put the text uh, so we go click on our text tool i'm going to click and drag the size that doesn't matter that is up to you i'm going to type the word top secret and now i'm going to change the font to uh, what i'm going to use is called bevas new and I'm going to use the bold one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to center on the page. So to center on the page, align in the alignment tool, make sure that you selected align to margin. Once that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit taller. And then on my character tab, I'm going to my tracking and I'm going to put a little bit more space in between the and the letters not too much uh, but that is uh, according with your whatever you want to do let me center this back again perfect now that is all aligned let's go back to layers and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit in the keyboard command j to duplicate i'm going to take the bottom one i'm going to just um make it invisible and i'm going to lock it so now that we have that one first day both exactly the same so now on the top one we are going to work with that one so now we go with that one selected we go to our contextual contextual toolbar toolbar at the top and let's hit or click the button that says create to curves so now they are all curves I'm going to click inside the group select all those ones and we go to the top at the geometry tool and we click add so it becomes just only one I'm going to move it out and I'm going to click on the group and delete it. Perfect, now that we have that one, just in case, I'm going to create a duplicate, hitting Command J, and I'm going to select one, and I'm going to make it invisible, and I'm going to lock it as well. So we can work with this one there. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is I need to create the mask that we are going to use for the text to create this effect so for that is first I'm going to change the color of the text and I'm going to make it white okay because you will see just now I'm going to leave it there now I'm going to my rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle that is the size of my canvas or the page and I'm going to change the fill to black and I'm going to move it to the back and then move it up a little bit there now that rectangle also needs to be converted to curves so we go with that um, rectangle selected we go to our contextual contextual toolbar at the top and we click convert to curves now that we have these two together we are going to select both of them and we are going to group them so you can hit command uh, g or just only on the menu click on group once it's a group on the group we are going to right click back again and now we are going to rasterize this one so now this is an actual image perfect now that we have that now we need to create all the scratches that goes inside so for that the first thing that we do is we go to this right top corner and we have two personas or three personas there so one is the designer persona so basically there is where you work like um, um, vectorize or everything is vector and on the pixel persona is basically an image if you want to put it like that so 
I'm going to click on that one and as you can see now my layout has changed so what I'm going to do is I need to create the scratches in here so for that I'm going to choose my paintbrush tool now to create the scratches um, I'm using from my brushes that I have here uh, the ones that says grunge and I'm using this one grunge number four to create that kind of you know uh, it's like a small lines you'll see it just now so let me go back again to this one let's make it 21 sorry I shouldn't select it first that one and the harness let's make it click let's make it 50 and the red 100 anyway now I'm going to zoom in okay and I'm going to start with the T so the trick here is to paint small lines all around the border okay uh, you can be a little bit um, how can i say it? basically now this is up to you uh how much or how little but i suggest you to put a little bit more than less because then we are going to use something to uh, manipulate that uh the what, what what you have done and to fine tune it now one thing that is always uh, key is in the corners usually is where the rubber stamp uh, or, or the you know the, the rubber of the of the stamp uh, it gets worn so pay quite a f attention to this so let me start with something and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed it up so you need you don't need to sit through the entire thing uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom quite in so I have a better view so basically you start making some scratches as random as you can uh, the better okay so as you can see especially there in the corners Make this makes them in uh, small strokes so if you need to uh, undo something just uh, undo a little bit at a time okay if not you are going to undo too much okay let me see okay so more or less something like this you can put if you want something a little bit on the center as well that is up to you that is your freedom as an artist okay anyway so now that we are here i'm going to speed it up this one all the rest of the letter because basically it remains exactly the same okay see you just now good seems like uh, we are finishing there let me maybe no i think that one was too much something like that very try to make it as random as you can okay good now that we have that uh let me now zoom in a little bit there uh we need to fine tune all these because actually it looks a little it doesn't look really really well so what i'm going to do is i'm coming here to my adjustment layer and i'm going to click on levels so i'm going to apply one level and now what you can do is if you bring the the white down okay you're making the white more white and then the the black like this so you can give more definition to what you have done and obviously a little bit more selective you see if i go all the way there and then i make it like this you see it looks less um less crowded if you want to uh, use it like that 
so I like it something like this now these two the black level and the white level again now it's up to you how you use it is your creativity okay so for me I think it's fine like this we are going to put more uh, another uh, scratch uh, layer and then one for maybe one for to see like a parts with less ink or something like that perfect now that we have that I'm going to select these two layers and I'm going to right click command J to make it a group and now right click and rasterize so now it's just only one as you can see it's one day so I'm going to make it uh, invisible for the moment I'm going to take this one uh, no not that one sorry the bottom one this one is my text uh, let's go back to our um, designer persona so let's go back to the top right corner uh, of the screen there you have the icon clicking there so now we are back in our designer persona I'm going to select my selection tool and now I'm going to change this yeah, let's make it something red something like this like I just seen the movies this is top secret uh, I think something like that will be fine perfect now that we have this layer if I put it like this nothing happened so to make it a mask you need to right click and go to or select rasterize to mask so now as you can see now if this is our mask you can put it there uh, sorry goes on top of this one this one I'm going to move it out of the way I don't think I'm going to need it so the other thing that I think we need to do or we can do for this by the way if you want to put a like a border or something like that also you can do exactly the same uh, I will do it all at once with one mask so it's, it's easy for you so what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to now here to my selection uh, file I'm going to look for place and I'm coming here and I got a file that is called scratches uh, and I'm going to open it I'm going to put it in there let me center this one uh, to the page and now you right click and then you rasterize to mask so now it becomes a mask now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and obviously you can move it around to fit you know according to the different uh, the, the style or, or the scratches all depends what you want to do and uh, you can add even more mask one on top of the other one okay but I think uh, with this one up to there I think we are fine this one that I got there I uh, get rid of that one because I don't need it fantastic I think it, this it's uh, that's it for today's video I hope you like it uh, if you did please remember to subscribe give this thumbs up and hit the notification bell so every time that I upload a new video uh, you receive the notification and you don't miss any of my videos uh, any suggestions if you think there is another way to do it uh, please leave the comment in the section down below thank you very much for watching and like always I'm seeing you in the next video